here we have a wall that folds backwards for easy transport. It's on casters and it's to use for backdrops for shows and also for photos. My niece asked me to build this for her and I did it from scratch, had no plans to follow, so it was a little challenging, but I'm super excited about the way it turned out. So basically what I did, I'm gonna have Justine come and help me turn this and show you. Ooh, it's on wheels, so look how easy it rolls. All right, so on the back, I built a frame and it has um, hinges and it also has barrel bolts to keep it in place. Um, I use two by fours for the frame and then I have plywood for the front. And let's see, what else can I show you? For the, for the, to keep it upright, let's, let's turn it to the side, Justine, so they can see the leg. There we go. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I built triangles and I used barrel, uh, sorry, what are these called? Huge bolts, that's what they're called. Um, and they're six inches long and they go right through the legs and the frame. And then I have a two by four that the triangle is attached to that the whole frame sits right on to help keep it stable. Now I will say, go ahead and swing it back around, Justine. We started out with just the barrel bolts um, to hold it upright, but we felt like it wasn't quite as sturdy as we would like it to be. It's okay, but we wanted it to be even more sturdy. So we, let's see. Carriage bolts, that's what they're called. We purchased four inch, um, and they're half inch in diameter, carriage bolts to place right through the center. And that keeps, and then we have the nuts, and that keeps it super steady. So we don't have to worry about it uh, flopping around at all, or if someone uh, bumps into it, they're not, it's not gonna freak them out. So let me show you just how easy this is to fold for transportation. So we basically just move the barrel bolts up and fold it over. How cool is that? And then it can just roll. Now the actual wall is seven by seven. With the leg attachments, it's probably you know closer to seven and a half. And so it should fit into a, a normal size eight foot truck bed. So you just have to get it up, roll it on, and then you can roll it into whatever place. Let's go ahead and set it back up, Justine. Pretty sweet, right? Let's flip it around, woo! All right, if you can't tell, I'm kind of proud of this project. It took a lot of thought process. It's probably the most difficult project I've done just because I didn't have any kind of plans to follow, but it turned out awesome. And I think my niece is really gonna love it.